The death toll in the UK continues to surge, with figures just released confirming that 828 people have died in England alone in the past 24 hours from coronavirus. Nearly 56,000 people have been infected across the country, among them Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who remains in intensive care. Boris Johnson was given supplementary oxygen. Cabinet ministers say he's in a stable condition and is in good spirits. Rory Challens joins us now live from London, outside the hospital, actually, where Boris Johnson is being treated. First, let's talk about these numbers, Rory. 828, that's the death toll just in England. So likely it's going to be a very bad day for the UK as a whole. Yeah, if you add up the numbers that have been individually released uh, by the English Health Authority, by the Welsh Health Authority, Scottish, Northern Ireland, etc., then the total that you get uh, for the UK as a whole at the moment is 936 deaths. Now, uh, let's uh, just put a massive caveat uh, in there, which is that these figures are likely to be undercounted, but they're also likely to be slightly over what the UK's uh, uh, Department of Health puts out later in the day as the aggregate number uh, for, for the whole of the country. Just because of the way that all these numbers are uh, counted up, there's always a bit of variation and uh, it always looks a little bit confusing. Uh, they are likely to be undercounted because we know that these are only the deaths that are taking place in hospitals and uh, even so there are other hospital deaths that are going to be pushed into the numbers eventually over time there are going to be many more deaths happening outside of hospitals in care homes etc but what we know i think from this uh, is that the trajectory of the uk's epidemic is still on the upwards uh, upwards incline it's going up and up and up day by day uh, with a few variations but yes this is still a situation that is getting worse and worse and worse in the UK on the death side of things uh, on the uh, hospital admissions and the new cases side of things well then there's a bit more optimism there because uh, the, the, the chief scientists and the chief medical officers are saying that they are I think, starting to see some levelling off. They've been saying that for a few days now, a, a levelling off in the number of new hospital admissions and new cases. And, Rory, do we know any more about how Boris Johnson is doing other than he's in good spirits? Well, we're basically beginning the same uh, updates for a, a day and a half now. Uh, every time a, a spokesperson for the Prime Minister comes out or a government minister and talks about his health, the message is pretty much identical. He's stable, clinically stable was the most recent way of putting it, uh, that he's been given oxygen or is being given oxygen. He hasn't been put on a ventilator. He hasn't got uh, pneumonia and he's in good spirits. That's the, uh, that's the script. Um, and, and what we've been told that is, I think, new in the last couple of hours is that he seems to be responding to treatment. Now, we don't know what treatment he's getting other uh, than oxygen. Um, so it suggests that he's not getting any worse, but we're also not being given any indication that he's leaving uh, intensive care at any time soon. We have been told that he is not working. And so, you know, we knew that. That means that Dominic Raab is acting as Prime Minister. Prime Minister. But here we're getting, I think, the, the first signs of cracks uh, in this situation with uh, the decision uh, announced by Dominic Raab uh, recently to defer the review of the of the UK's lockdown, um, which was supposed to be taking place at the beginning of next week by April the 16th latest. Uh, but in the last few hours, the, the Prime Minister's spokesperson said, hold on a second, no, this uh, review is going to be taking place uh, as scheduled. So, yes, what, what mixed messages coming from the government are, at the moment, as you might expect, with uh, Boris Johnson being sick uh, in his hospital bed behind me uh, and someone else deputising for him at the moment. Here's hoping we get some clarity. I believe there is a briefing due in the next few hours. For now, thank you. Rory Challens, live from London.